the role. Welcome back. Uh, with this tutorial, we will start a very sh small uh, series uh, describing the additional functionalities provided by the app Mightier Amp, uh, developed by our friend Tintori, that is right, is uh, one of our uh, friends within the Facebook group, the official Facebook group for uh, Mighty Plug and Mighty Air uh, conversations. So, uh, you will see that uh, he is posting every update of the app when he is uh, providing one. So it was uh, time for uh, giving focus to this kind of uh, improvements provided by him, by his job. So uh, in the description below you will find the link to a step-by-step -step guide uh, released uh, into a more readable format, I, I believe, uh, compared with the tutorial. Uh, this tutorial will follow this, the, the, that guys, feel free to download it, it's, it's available in the drive area for, for the channel, so uh, it's uh, at your disposal if you want, and inside that you will also find some links to, uh, to the app where to download it. Uh, too bad it is only available for, for Android for the moment, it is in the Google Play Store. Uh, maybe in the future we will have also the iOS app uh, to totally develop it, but due to the rules of the Apple App, uh, app Store, it is uh, not yet available. In the guideline you will find the link for the app, a link to the uh, GitHub uh, website uh, by Tutori, please consider also donating for his great job, and uh, some other useful links. So, let's start from the beginning. Let's open the app, you should, all, should have it already installed. Please look at the other tutorials in the series. I will be using a new X Mighty Air as a device. Consider that what uh, I will describe will be perfectly valid for new X Mighty Plug MP2. Also for Mighty Pro, I mean Mighty Pro also uh, as additional functionalities I will, uh, I will not show you. And uh, some other devices compatible with, uh, with the app. So let's open the app. And we will start from the first tab. You see that it is connected to my Mighty Air and it uh, looked at it. This app is very, very similar to the official Mighty, Mighty app. I will only focus on the additional functionalities. So please forgive me if you have doubts or you believe that some other details uh, would require or would be worth uh, a better explanation. Just let me know in the comments and I will do my best to to provide you help. So, looking at the first tab, when I speak about tab, I'm referring to the uh, buttons uh, at the bottom of the screen, presets, drums, jam tracks, settings, the first one, editor. This one looks very similar to the original app, I, I'm confident you are familiar with that. You can select the seven channels, uh, one by one, the ones you want. Uh, and all the rest is uh, graphically is not identical but very very similar so let's have a look at the additional functionalities the first one i would like to uh, to bring your attention to is the main volume if you push the small arrow at the bottom of the screen you will see that the volume bar is appearing this is a main volume a general volume it allows you to increase or decrease the volume of the full preset without tampering with the, the preset. With the official app, for example, if you want to increase or decrease the volume, because, for example, you are in a noisy environment or something like that, you need to go into the amp or into the IR and decide the, the level. Not a big deal, but it makes it necessary to move the level and if you move, if you for example are using three different presets for your song, you will need to select the different level for all three of them and renormalize the volume. This way instead you can keep everything set as you wish and then just operate the main volume and this will apply to all the selection. Functionality number two, undo and redo. You can see at the top uh, left of the screen there are two buttons, two arrows. The left one is an undo, the right one is a redo. With the undo you can remove the last modifications you do. There are almost unlimited undo. And with the redo you can apply them one by one. So you can try different selections. And this can be really helpful. Consider that nothing of the changes you are performing is saved until you save in the device or in the presets here in the, in the application. Uh, so you can, you can uh, test whatever you like. Just selecting a different channel will lose 
the configuration and you change it. You, you see that uh, undo and redo buttons uh, became uh, or, uh, again gray because there are no changes to undo or redo. So let's uh, go to this selection. For example, let's decrease the gain. You see that now we have uh, an undo and redo button. If I push undo, all these changes uh, are removed. If uh, we apply all the modifications, for example, and we start again. Uh, look at the center button, the sort of uh, uh, change page uh, page icon, this one. This one will uh, apply in full all the modification you have done from the last save or remove them when you push it. This way, if it is fully blue, it means we are at the initial configuration. When it is uh, only bordered in blue, it means uh, it is in the, at the, after all the modifications. This way you can try different modifications, you can undo and redo uh, all of them one by one using the arrows, or you can apply them and remove them in full with pushing the button, and while you play the guitar you can uh, immediately hear the difference between the two selections and decide what you prefer. Very, very practical for experimenting, so have, uh, have fun with it. The third functionality I would like to share with you is the active and active uh, toggle. This is very interesting for, for the channels. You see we have seven channels. All of them have a, a dot that is fully colored. Green, uh, yellow, red. It is possible to activate some channels and deactivate some of them. As you can see, when I deactivate them, they become only bordered in color instead of being completely painted uh, to make it obvious that they are activated or not. What is the functionality of this? Consider that we can still select also the channels that has been deactivated. So if you are controlling your device through the app directly from your smartphone screen, you will not notice any specific difference. But if you are using a device for scrolling through the available selection, like what we have seen in tutorial 5 about the use of the chocolate MIDI pedal, if you push in the pedal and with them you can scroll the selection, the system will only scroll through the active selections. This way, if in a song you need just three selections, you can keep them active, deactivate all the others, and then with your pedal you can select the, exactly the three selections you like. So, also this one is very welcome for everyday use. Another important thing to remember is that if you look at, the, at any selection, there are some effects in the chain, like mod, Modification, modulation, for example, in this case is unselected. There is a button, this one, to activate it or deactivate it. This is something that is already present also in the official app. The important thing is that Mighty Ramp allows you to save the selection and it will, according to the last update provided by Tuntori, it will save the configuration also of deactivated uh, functions. So, if, for example, I decided rate 80%, depth 80%, uh, mix 60%, I can decrease it or so, I can deactivate it. When I will save this selection with a name, please have a look at the specific tutorial for that, you will find the link as well in the description. This configuration will be saved as well, even if the effect is deactivated. This allows you to decide your configuration. Uh, keep it available, for example, sometimes with the, with the modulation, sometimes without it, and you will always have the full configuration available in your save. Let's go on with the other, the following additional functionality. That is very, very welcome. Looking at the group, we have faced a lot of these situations. If you push the QR code button on the top left corner, this one, there is a drop-down menu that shows a scan QR import QR image, share QR. A scan QR and share QR are identical of what you can find in the official Mighty app. Uh, that one allows, the first option, scan QR, allows you to scan a QR code image, including the configuration, the preset you have created, uh, from your smartphone camera, only from your smartphone camera. That means that sometimes to, to, do, to use this functionality you need to print out the image you have available for that. Share QR instead allows you to 
to share a, a configuration you can give it a name and then you can export it as a picture you can save it uh, onto your desktop you onto, onto your smartphone you can share it uh, with the uh, regular means uh, and somebody else can receive it but if you have only the options available with the official app if you receive that image you need to print it out and then scan it with your smartphone uh, uh, camera that is not necessary with my ramp because there is the second option import qr image if you press it uh, it will browse you within your files and you can select any of them you see imported successfully this way it is imported immediately so you can download all the qr images uh, shared within the group within the official repository uh, by, by our friends you can save them in your in your smartphone and then you can um, upload them like this without the need to to print them out the last option visible the last additional option visible here from this uh, from this screen is one of the most useful uh, look at the p at the button in the top right corner with the, a plus within it this one allows you to save the selection within your library the library is uh, included into the app and there is no limit you can select as many categories and as many uh, save you want so you can give a name to the category you can give a name of the selection it makes it much easier to browse through them there is a specific tutorial describing all uh, this activity step by step so i will give you the link for that that's all for the first tab editor bye bye to everybody and thank you for watching give me comments below if you want me to explain something better there is always room for improvement and i can assure you that i will uh, uh, treasure your suggestion for for the future Thank you for watching again. Bye-bye to everybody.